Hello and welcome to The Food That Makes Us, recipes to comfort and connect us with me, Olya Hercules, here in my London kitchen. Um, today we're going to make quite a simple recipe. It's a bit of a workhorse in my kind of like home cooking repertoire. Um, I'm sure that there is a sauce like that somewhere in Italy, but I just kind of like, I don't know, it just came to me. Like my, my son Sasha and I really love a puttanesca. So that's your like garlic and anchovies and tomato sauce. And that's just something that we always make and he really loves. And I just thought for the little one as well, I've got another one that's two, um, a son who's two. And I just thought I'll add some uh, broccoli to it. I mean, you know, just adding, adding some greens and they both like broccoli. So and it kind of like really goes together. Um, the saltiness of the anchovies and, uh, you know, quite a lot of garlic. And I, I do a really like quite an interesting thing with garlic, which you might uh, enjoy. And um, yeah, we'll just get cracking. I've got some orecchiette, but you can use any short pasta. I do feel like short pasta works better because we're going to cut the broccoli quite small so it's going to be quite bitty and shapes like this like really catch the sauce and it's just going to be really nice then i've got um some uh, anchovies in oil um and then some garlic some just normal olive oil and some tinned tomatoes uh, i've got a little bit of chili I am not going to put it into the sauce today because I want the little one to eat it. Um, but me and Sash can just like sprinkle it on after when it's done. It's not a problem. Okay, and it's like so simple, but hopefully it will just, you know, break up your routine a bit. Like maybe next time you will make a bolognese, but we'll make this, which is actually a lot easier. And, you know, if your kids are a little bit funny about anchovies, you can't really tell that it's like a fishy situation. They just add that really beautiful umami thing, just like fish sauce does in, I don't know, uh, Southeast Asian cooking. Um, so go ahead and do the anchovies. And honestly, like just, if they're a bit funny, like just don't tell them and it's good for you. It's got like loads of vitamin D in it and stuff. Okay, cool, let's go. Um, so we've got garlic. I'm gonna use quite a lot of it. I'm gonna do like one, two, Three. And what I'm going to do with this garlic, which I love, I love garlic so much, I'm going to do some of it thinly sliced and cooked slowly so you get like a really mellow garlicky vibe going on. And then I'm also going to grate a fat clove and add it a little bit later on with the tomato so it adds a little bit of that kind of like bitey garlic. Like, it's just like all the garlic. I love it. Okay, so we've got, let's say, four we're gonna do sliced and one we're gonna do kind of like finely grated. And it's actually this kind of like addition of grated garlic at the end of cooking is done a lot in, well, actually Ukrainian and Georgian cooking as well. So in Georgia, they've got this amazing uh, that vegetable kind of stew, almost like a ratatouille-esque type thing. And what they do at the very end, they just bash loads of garlic and loads of herbs together. And then they just stir this like herby garlicky situation through the stew at the very end of cooking. So it just cooks it, but still gives it that um, kind of like piquant garlic flavor. And this is a similar vibe. And we do, we do a similar thing in Ukraine as well. So with borscht, for example, um, you bash some garlic with a little bit of uh, lardo, um, especially like aged lardo, read the lardo that's been in the cellar all winter, it's delicious. Um, and actually, it, you know, and it gives it that kind of umami thing, just like anchovies do as well. So, uh, so I'm just slicing the first couple of cloves like thinly, you know, but don't get too stressed out. Like, it's fine. This is okay. Just regular slices. Slice, 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 slice. And that's it. Like, that's almost all of the prep is done. I'm just going to peel this garlic. And then at the end, and you can, you know, you can use your knife and like chop it finely, mush it up. Like, I, I don't know. I, I just use a grater. I just find it 
it's much easier, especially if it's uh, something like one of those microblade ones that are really easy to clean afterwards. So garlic done, I'm just gonna put this into my wormery compost thing because uh, it's good for it and then let's do the anchovies as well we'll do the anchovies and then we're all like set and good because you do actually have to uh, watch the garlic a little bit so it doesn't burn you the sliced garlic you really just want to like mellow it out and make it really nice and sweet um, you don't want to color so let's just do all the prep first so I've got my head of broccoli um, you can use the stalks as well, absolutely, like don't throw them away, maybe I'm just going to get rid of, you know, I'm going to get rid of the dry bits and like these knobbly bits as well. Again, I'm just going to put them into my compost. And then, again, if children are around, it's like, Sash, come, broccoli stalk, and he's like, yay, and he eats it and it's tasty. Um, but it's also, you can, you can cook it, so I'm just going to do like slices like this okay and then I'm going to just dice it you want this broccoli to be quite small because also like honestly sometimes life happens and you don't have dinner like oh you don't you have to like do something quickly because they're moaning and they're hungry from school or you are hungry or whatever like you just want things to cook quickly and um, cutting this broccoli quite finely means that the sauce is done in no time at all okay so there's my stock and then I'm just gonna do and then I'm just going to kind of like just slice through this like that okay like so you've got like bitsy bit of broccoli there and it's going to soften and cook out and I don't know I just really really love this sauce and I'm gonna leave well how many of are we here today I might leave just a little bit for and like make an omelette with it tomorrow so not quite one head but it depends you know if you've got a bigger how many I've, I haven't got we're not all meat eaters here so Joe is not gonna have the anchovy thing which actually like I do make him a little separate one sometimes so when I make this broccoli thing I just leave the uh, anchovies out and um, just up the garlic and chili for him actually can put some of the some fresh diced chili as well and that's awesome and he gets his little uh, vegetarian option so it's very easy. Literally just leave the anchovies out. But obviously if you do eat them, they're delicious in this. Okay, so as you can see, like this kind of core, I'm just chopping through into like, kind of like little things like the same as with the, with the stem of the broccoli and then cutting through. So we've got like little pieces of broccoli here. Okay, boom, like that's enough. Um, okay, now anchovy oil. I'm going to use some of it for frying the garlic and the anchovies. And I'm just gonna like put some of this, enough to kind of like to leave a little bit behind. We're not gonna use all of the anchovies. I'm just gonna shove them in and leave them covered with oil. So just like that. And then a little bit of normal oil as well. You need quite a bit of oil here. And just a little bit of this oil, just like that. Now um, we're gonna just put the anchovies here. I mean, if they're good anchovies, you could arguably just like plonk them in like this whole and they will disintegrate with time but I'm just gonna chop them through quickly just in case and I'm gonna do I've done like I don't know 10 anchovies or something is is nice amount to add enough flavor without making it too fishy so chop through the anchovies that's it like just a rough chop and we're gonna go to the and then we're gonna heat up the oil now okay so put that on just wait for the oil to heat up a little bit and then we're gonna go in together with the garlic and the anchovies and then once that's kind of like 
mellowed and you've got the really nice gentle smell of garlic and the anchovies are starting to disintegrate we're gonna put the broccoli in and then we're gonna like put the tomato in and I mean it's done almost but do not forget that grated garlic at the end it just like adds a certain je ne sais quoi to the whole situation okay so we're just gonna heat this so heat it up so it's like heated up but then put it on the lower heat so you don't burn the garlic like it, as I say like it's really important to keep that sliced garlic just really mellow and golden and just to flavor the oil and not to go brown like I don't want that kind of like crispy garlic flavor in this dish okay so that goes in you know what like I'm just gonna add another anchovy I just want I want more I was, I was a little bit stingy with the anchovy. I'm just going to go one and then another one. Okay, and then strip through it. Put that in. And that's it. And just make sure, you know what's a really good thing to do? You kind of, if your pan is quite big and then you've got little bits for stuff not to burn you just kind of like huddle it in the corner here so so it's all kind of like huddled together and there's less uh, opportunity for it to burn okay and now we're just gonna put the water on for the pasta which I've already boiled in the kettle just to make things a little bit quicker and yeah let's just stick this on here All right, let's put the water on for the pasta. So obviously like salt the water, how, how you'd salt it for pasta, like just nicely seasoned. They say like the sea, whatever. Like if you have smaller children, like maybe don't make it like the sea, make it a little bit less and then you can always adjust it. But I'm going to give it a good seasoning. So salt into the pasta water and look like um, this whole situation is happening like the anchovies are really disintegrating the garlic is not quite there but almost almost there I just add a tiny bit of oil just where the anchovies and the garlic are that's fine okay I mean, we're nearly ready to eat. So this situation is much kind of like softer. And remember, I'm going to add the broccoli in and cook it still for another couple of minutes. So there's going to be extra moisture in there and it's going to like cook out the rest of that. So broccoli is in. It's okay, Joe, you can just like look around. Okay. Okay. Uh, the buns are ready in a sec. When the broccoli has had like, I don't know, three, four minutes in the pan and it's looking a little bit less raw, you're going to put the tomato in and just leave it there to bubble for as long as you want, really. It can, I don't mind like overcooked broccoli. I quite like it nice and soft, especially for something like this. But if you're in a rush, it's going to be also good in about 10 minutes. So I'm just going to put the tomato in and I'm going to put a little bit of water in here and just like swell it out. Okay, so yeah, you're good. Just, so if you use chopped tomatoes, you're absolutely fine. If you use the kind of like whole ones like I did today, what I do is my trusty um, potato masher and then just go like this mash 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 and like so far so healthy and I know it's anchovies and you're supposed to have cheese with anchovies or whatever but I am also going to put loads of parmesan on it at the end so to speed things up I am and also kind of not let too much of the liquid to evaporate too fast I'm just going to put the lid on and leave it for about 10 minutes or so there you go the pasta is ready so actually you know you can continue cooking it 
while your pasta is cooking. 100 grams per person. Um, we've got one fish heater today, we've got Joe, so I'll do me and Tam. So we're gonna have, like you can always measure it out. Like in the recipe you've got the correct measurement. Okay, so this sauce has literally been cooking for five minutes, but Kai wants to see what it looks like, so there you go, Kai. Okay, five minutes cooking. It already looks like softened and delicious, but I'm waiting for my pasta, so it can go for another 10. I might just like put it on and have a little bit of the, of the steam escaping, but not all. So it kind of like reduces a little bit more. Oh, it smells, smells really good to me. Okay, so the pasta's ready. Um, I've drained it and I'm just literally going to plonk it in here. So I've got one portion, two, three, four, a little bit left over. That's fine for the... I'm just going to put some oil over it. And then you just kind of like swell it around in the sauce. And you know, if it's a little bit al dente, you can keep cooking it in the in the pan with the sauce for a bit and it will absorb uh, a bit of that kind of like sauce flavor always you know give it a little taste and see if it's nicely seasoned for you because you know it's not too late to add a little bit of salt now because things are hot and it can just dissolve and it'll be fine mm, it needs a little bit of salt I'm just gonna add a bit more salt. I'm gonna, I am going to add some Parmesan to it, so I'm not gonna go too crazy with the salt, but that's it. Okay, the pasta's in the bowls and we're just gonna make it rain with some Parmigiano because, you know, why the hell not? I'm just gonna do it. Sam, can you taste it off? Come quickly. Okay, this is actually not for Kai. This is for his sister, Tam. Tam. Hmm? Yes, that's gorgeous. <laughs> you don't want so to be filmed. <laughs>